welcome to the knowledge series for Yogakshema. I am joined by Dr. Usha Vastare, the founder of Yogakshema Rehabilitation and Wellness Center. Today's session, we will be covering mindful parenting. So the whole thing about uh, some of this is you have to practice what you preach, right? So if I as a parent have not been successful in being a regular practitioner of mindfulness, let's say, or meditation, is there any hope in me telling my kids or, you know, where, where do we start? <laughs> I can only laugh at this, uh, Sanmit. You also know the answer. It's a boomerang, you know. You started off saying that we have set patterns from our parents. Many of the things our parents said the right thing and we followed. But many of the times they were not following it. That is why we don't want to do the way our parents yeah. did and now we are asking the same question now we are becoming preachers we are not following what we want our kids to follow this is the whole crux of parenting in general mindful parenting in particular this is our opportunity to evolve into better human beings this is our opportunity to evolve so that we can utilize our innate potential what we have this is our opportunity as parents to harmonize our thought our word and action then only and only then will there be credibility not just the credibility and even respect from our kids so rather than being preachers isn't this a great opportunity for us to develop great habits that we are preaching our kids to follow? It is our opportunity as a parent. This is the reason we are here as parents so that we can learn from the kids. So it pinches us. We know what we are not doing. Let us take this as an opportunity to evolve and make this as a joyous journey. And even more importantly, because you have a teenager admit this to the kid because at times kids put us on a pedestal up to a certain stage and then when they see the parents are not doing what they are saying and it's hard for them to accept and they're juggling with this they don't know what to do with this they still respect their parents they love their parents they want to do what they say but if my parent has gotten away from this and it's a kid's mind wants to do less and get the most right so there are no so, secrets basically <laughs> it's not it's a, it's what, a, wait, wait, wait. where is the reason for secret it's a, it's it a, it's is a not transparent, a weakness yeah. it's not a weakness the kid has to know this is having a growth mindset an evolving mindset Got as it. a parent understood there is we don't need to hide our mistakes like our parents did in fact that is where lot of mental health issues are happening these days not just in adults as senior citizens we see even in youngsters if the kids are brought up in an environment to hide things not to let go this is our family secret and you know there is an adage in Canada that means these are all there is no secret every family goes through this is where as a parent I'm saying and as a scientist I'm saying this is where the power of science comes in there is no secret in any family this is where as a scientist I can see in a very non-judgmental way whoever comes to me either with the parental issues or with relationship issues this is the way the minds work it's not about keeping family secrets or holding our weaknesses not showing it to others to be as human as possible especially with our kids and also with our elders mistakes happen or these are weaknesses i am working on this help me do this in your uh, scientific view uh, how do we how do we kind of summarize the the aspect of parenting itself as, as a process great question uh, samit uh, you know uh, apart from parenting even now 
if I have to just introduce myself as not um, the title, name, none of that, you know what I would like to say? I am a lifelong learner. Yeah. So parenting, the parents have to become lifelong learners. And not just learning because out of fear, but with a joyous way. So to be lifelong learners and to make this journey as the destination or the path itself as the goal, to truly enjoy parenting is the way and the only way to go. Parenting at the crux is you're getting into parenting at a life stage where you are probably a little more settled on a professional front, on a personal front, you found a life partner. So it's a great time that way in life. Mm -hmm. And and you are essentially saying that this is probably one of the great opportunities for us to evolve. Uh, and it's a, because parenting doesn't end, it's a lifelong evolution, right? I My parents even now parent me. So there's a constant evolution as a True. parent. True. And, and you're saying that everything that you do with your child if it is if it is uh, forming a habit if it is jointly done everything that you if you co-create uh, that is a process of evolution for both you and, and the child and the larger family so in that context not in the context of, of family how do we uh, how do we ensure that uh, to what extent do we go with our children on this because this, there has to be buy-in from all of them Again, you're really going uh, really deep, Samit. As I always say, this is, I'm so passionate about this topic. Um, the only way for everybody to buy in is not rationalizing, not using our logical mind. This is what science says, giving evidence and whatnot. That's all is needed for us to be convinced. But it is the feelings and the emotions the true genuine concern for our children and for our parents is what is truly going to make both the, uh, our kids understand and our partners to understand and our parents because we are still just looking at um, just from uh, one generation, parents and the kids, but we still want our grandparents to be involved even though it is just either once a week, but it's still very, very important. Even just once a week, even once a month, that quality time is so important and the kid will ask whatever age that wants to spend more time with the grandparents, that should be the yardstick. So the genuinity of that effort that we need to put in, genuinity of the, um, not just concern about the parenting itself is what will convince the others, not the evidence-based research and not the logic behind this, which means we as parents, both, uh, both the parents need to dig deep and then make this genuine and then it, it will naturally come out. There is no other way, there is no other magic or secret for this. Okay. Purity of purpose and is and what is going to win at the end. And that purpose is, uh, can you articulate what that purpose could be for, for this specific situation of parenting? Yeah, the purpose summit of course is bringing up the kid to be a better citizen and uh, hopefully an awakened or an enlightened uh, and a happy citizen, uh, compassionate uh, also. Even though it is centered on the kid, but we cannot uh, uh, leave out ourselves. This is not a sacrifice, you know. We want the kid to be better, not sacrificing yeah. our joy, not sacrificing maybe uh, some resources maybe, like time, but not our uh, uh, joy because this journey of parenting uh, is it has to happen together that means everybody has to be evolving together not one person evolving at the expense of the other absolutely it does not work this is the beauty of parenting this is also about co-evolving even with grandparenting too you know the two extremes grandparents are also like kids in some some ways but let's set that aside this 
everybody has to evolve together so the purpose is co-evolving and in, on this process this journey we are all on this journey together so coming back to the theme of joy uh, in this and, and uh, if, if one defines the purpose right and, and if it is my purpose to evolve my wife purpose to evolve my child's it's a joint family evolution the whole process will end up being joyful is that the way you say uh, and and if if it is not joyful then one has to question the fundamental purpose is that the way you would say that uh, just because it is not joyful does not mean they're not evolving samit initially it cannot be joyous it won't be joyous so we have to keep asking one single question whether it's a child or the parents or grandparents this is this is my uh hope wish and prayer for the entire yoga kshema family and everybody else too you know one single simple question if we ask whatever situation that we are going through through parenting whatever it is do i want to survive through this situation or do i want to evolve through this situation no right or wrong answer for this at times we just have to survive through this maybe at times it will be very difficult it may not be joyous it won't be joyous but we are evolving yeah. and other times it might be joyous may not be evolving all different permutation combination can happen but we need to know deep down that the real purpose of human life is to be evolving whether we know it or not yeah. this is science science means commonality science means reproducibility too right whether we know it or not we are born to evolve into better human beings and what better way to evolve than be a parent yeah because you're not just evolving as a person you're bringing everybody together and when that happens in a beautiful way the everything expands you know the mind expands our consciousness expands and now you go from one kid to the grandparents and both sets of grandparents and maybe uncles and aunts and maybe their friends and families this is how it is it has to be a collective evolution